All right, guys, first things first, I am not in the bathroom when recording this video. I am testing my Samsung Galaxy S10 right now, just trying to see how the stabilizer is on this thing. But what we're gonna talk about today is another wireless follow focus function or something you can get to wirelessly follow focus your Pocket 4K. I know the other day I talked about a Tilta Nucleus Nano, which costs around $229. But today, we're gonna do you something better. It's gonna be for $2. All right, guys, so as stated before, to download the app, all you have to do is go to the Android Play Store, all right? The one you're looking for is the one that costs $1.99. That's $1.99. Now, once you install it, turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and turn on your Bluetooth on your camera and then the app should automatically find your Pocket 4K. And once inside the app, you'll see there's a lot of settings you can change from aperture to shutter speed or shutter angle, which in my case, I actually can get shutter angle to work properly, but that's okay. My shutter angle pretty much stays the same throughout the whole recording time. But you can change your aperture, ISO, white balance, so on and so forth. You can change the pages of the app by just swiping left or right, or if you want, you can go to the top right corner and you can choose it as well. Now, like I said in the intro, you can control your focus wirelessly with this app. If you are using micro four third lenses, you're gonna be able to do this. But if you have the current firmware 3.1 from the Metabone Speed Booster, you're gonna be able to also control your focus with the Pocket 4K, Sigma 1835, and Metabone Speed Booster 71X, like I'm showing you right now. As you can see, there is actually a pretty bad delay, so I don't think you're gonna be able to actually follow focus somebody moving and talking or whatnot, but for a talking headshot like you usually do when you're vlogging, I think it's gonna work perfectly. Now you can also use the autofocus button on the back of the app, but I don't know, I'm not able to move the square around, so the square is just in the middle. So for this one, it's actually, it's okay, I guess, if you're focusing, auto-focusing, if you're in the middle. i rather actually rack the focus myself and manually focus myself using the app. So for $1.99, this app is pretty incredible. And that's kind of cool, the Blackmagic design lets other people create apps for their cameras. That's very unique. It's a nice open source so that you can get all these features for $1.99. Like always, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.